have a little bit of time um, as far after work, and I kind of want to get a video in. I have to go home and take care of some things with my family, but I want to make sure that I kind of put up something I've been thinking about very heavily uh, lately, um, and it's the, de the demoralization of people and how that affects people in their lives. Now, a lot of people use these things to uh, make people victims, and they explain, you know, way why all these things or circumstances are certain ways. And these things make people feel good. Like, they kind of take that agency away from the person. Um, they're able to blame a boogeyman. They're able to uh, associate all of their negative things in their life to a person or a group. That way they can feel comfortable living the way they do and they don't have to make any changes themselves. Now, this is a very negative thing because when people begin to really internalize those feelings, People tend to start giving up, and you find that phenomenon, whether it be like in the Appalachians uh, and like West Virginia coal miners, where they had their um, occupations like with the mines taken away, or um, you might see the same thing in Compton, where people are told, you know, from a young age, you'll be lucky to see 21 or 25 years old. And so you see a lot of people just like throwing their lives away, whether it be into gang violence or addiction. And these things uh, propagate so often. And the question is, who is this helping? Who is telling people that they're victims? Who is telling people that, you know, uh, whether it be Hispanics, uh, they're taking your jobs away, or in the black community, you know, the white man's always gonna hold you down. Who is this helping? And do the, if you do follow these people's like ideals, is your life getting better for it? And I feel like a lot of times, these people are, are offering you a boogeyman or a scapegoat, but they're not really offering you anything that's gonna improve your life. And that's the question, like, how do you improve your life when you depend on someone else to create a narrative for you? These people are sculpting you the way you look at life. They're sculpting the way you think about yourself. But at the end of the day, like, is this better than yourself? You see, look at a lot of times when it comes to the black community. You tell them, you know, if as long as you vote, you know, uh, if you vote, you get everything you need. When it comes down to it, you look at the areas where black people vote the most heavily, it's usually Democratic, and once people get elected, what happens? Are things better? Does your life prosper more? No. You get uh, from this world what you put into it. In the same time, we look at like West Virginia coal miners, the same example. If we open the coal mines up again, is your life going to be better? Are you still not going to be suffering from the same perils before? You know, black lung, uh, life expectancy being so low. A lot of times, you know, just because things were good in the past or they offered you opportunity in the past doesn't mean it was the best thing for you. So we got to start thinking about, I kind of feel like people on the far right and the far left, as far as like populace, we have a lot more in common than people really um, feel. And I feel like there's an underground like bubbling of like, Something doesn't feel right, but what can be done about it though? And the way this thing gets fixed is by communication. We got to get rid of these red lines where people say, well, I can't speak this person because his views on this one politic or this one issue. But the, the situation is this, the only way we get through this is together. We're Americans, whether you like it or not, you live here. There's very few places that you'd rather move than here, if we're going to be honest with each other. And uh, so the question is, what can we do? And the only thing I can offer is yourself, responsibility. Um, I don't think anybody's going to save us. I don't think anybody's going to do the hard work for you. Um, someone's going to make those sacrifices initially. And if not you, then who? That's the question. A lot of times people um, preach, you know, responsibility and you don't ever see the positive from that. The same time, like when you can say like all your failures are based on you, but the flip side is all your successes are also things that you put a direct effort into. And that's important. Like this is accomplishment you get from the things that you've done. Like those things are yours. Those are your achievements. And a lot of times now people are been so focused on like the victimhood aspect of it and the negatives. But what about the positives? How much better do we feel like when we clean our own room? Like when we had these things, the paperwork on your desk that's been sitting there for, you know, three weeks. And when you finally get that done, that sense of relief that's been sitting there, like that bill that you couldn't pay, you finally paid. Like those feelings are natural and they're good. 
if we start focusing on like the things that we can solve, I feel like life is so much better. It's so easy to be pie in the sky and think about what, what could be like the best outcome. But let's talk about things that we can actually achieve in our own life as far as like local politics. Everybody wants to be like, you know, um, focus on the national thing, you know, the Trumps, the Bidens. But honestly, like these people have very, very little effect in your day to day life. You'd have more um, effect if you focus on like who your city, who your city councilman is, who uh, your governor is, who your mayor is. These people have a way bigger impact in your life than Trump or Biden ever will. So I think if we really want to make um, these things change, it's going to start with us, and we got to be the change we want to see in this world. So the question is, what are you willing to do? If it's nothing, then just admit it. A lot of people don't want to do anything. They don't want to change anything. They just want to complain. And if that's how you feel, then you're you're able to do that. But at the same time, like don't expect to absorb an outcome from giving little effort. If you want no change, then do little. If you want extreme change, then do a lot. We're all going to fit in that spectrum, and the choice is yours. Have a good day, and I appreciate you.